inside the Orion spacecraft, as we fly around the moon, we have some cool experiments going on to help us understand what the environment is like. Although there's no humans aboard Artemis 1, we do have a few special passengers aboard that will help us pave the way for future Artemis missions. So there's basically three occupants riding. You can kind of think about it like three astronauts. We have a moonikin. We will also have two torsos that are learning about the moon and learning about the environment for our astronauts before they go. We have a mannequin on Artemis 1. We call him our Moonikin uh, for short. That Moonikin is called Commander Moonikin Campos. The name is actually in homage to Arturo Campos, who was an important person who helped bring the Apollo 13 capsule home. The Moonikin will sit in the commander's seat and it will wear a suit just like our astronauts will wear. Munikin Campos is actually weighted to simulate an actual human aboard the Orion spacecraft. So it will help us understand what our astronauts will experience as they go to the moon and home. The Orion Crew Survival System suit and the Orion seat were designed simultaneously to fit together as a seamless package. The actual design of the suit was built into the Orion seat, such that when they're in the suit, in the seat, it is a true cocoon of protection for them. During this test flight, the seat will actually be instrumented with accelerometers. Sensors that tell us how much the chair is shaking during launch and re-entry, and how many G-forces or gravitational forces it experiences. We expect Commander Munich and Campos to have a very exciting ride on his way to orbit. The thrill of launch, the experience of weightlessness, the excitement of landing. What we learn on Artemis 1 with our mannequins assistance will help us better understand how a human will actually behave in the seat, both for landing and for launch to allow us to ensure their safety. In addition to the Moonikin, we'll have two seats that have basically what's like a human dummy, an upper torso that are detecting how much radiation they're experiencing. It's called the Matryoshka Asteroid Radiation Experiment, MARE. MARE is an international collaboration with German Aerospace Center, DLR, and with Israel Space Agency. The MARA experiment consists of two anthropomorphic phantoms called Helga and Zohar that are simulating a female body in a space radiation environment. One of those will be wearing a safety vest, the asteroid radiation vest, that we hope will help protect our astronauts from radiation. Each one of the two phantoms will be equipped with about 20 battery-operated radiation instruments. So between the two, we'll be able to determine how well we can protect our astronauts from radiation events. Space radiation is a mix of high-energy, heavy-charged particles that originate from the sun. To put things in perspective, one year of Earth exposure to cosmic rays is equivalent with one day of space radiation exposure in deep space. The purpose of the MARA experiment is to learn more about the radiation exposure as well as the biological effects of different organs. So basically it's like we have three occupants inside Orion that are learning about the moon and learning about the environment for our astronauts before they go. Going back to the moon with new exploration goals and new technologies will help us gain better understanding of the challenges we encounter with deep space exploration. We will have to develop new technology and solutions to meet really difficult challenges. But that's what NASA does. That's what Artemis is all about. <laughs>